Hello, and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at this cheap imitation Wii nunchuck and see if we can fix it. The problem with this is that when I use the toggle here, it, uh, it sometimes doesn't work or it sometimes will go in the same direction both ways that it's pressed. So, not sure what's going on in here, but my suspicion is bad solder joints. Okay, so I've got the Wii fired up and I've got the game loaded up that my son likes to play. He's six years old, so he's still into Legos, and in particular Star Wars Legos. So I've got the nunchuck and the controller in my hand, and these are connected up the way that they're supposed to be. Now you can see my character over there on the right, well now he's on the left. He just kind of moves along on his own, even though he shouldn't be. And like I said before, it's because this toggle on this nunchuck is not working right. Sometimes it sticks and makes him walk. Other times when you push it one way, it goes the other and that kind of a thing. So let's take this apart and see if we can fix it. So just for comparison, you can see here I've got this other nunchuck up and apparently I've got my lightsaber out now too. But with this one connected, it all works the way that it should. And uh, he doesn't move along while we're just holding the controller steady. So let's take the black one down to the bench, take it apart, and see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. So here's the nunchuck. It looks like it's just held together with two screws. One here and one behind this quality control label which is already partly pushed into the screw hole. That's probably from being used. I don't think anybody tampered with this yet. Okay, now this probably should just come apart somehow. There we go. Just popped apart. So you can see the top and the little toggle button came off. Those are two separate items. Let me set the screws aside so I don't lose them. And then you can see there is a circuit board and the main uh, toggle switch, I guess I'll call that. So it looks like the button assembly is connected to the main circuit board with this sort of flex ribbon, it's wrapped around and goes up here and then this plastic carrier is held on with some snap tabs so there's one small little component there, a little IC of some sort, it looks like it's skewed on the pads a little bit and then uh, a couple of small components, 0603 size I'd say but let me take a look at this and see if I see any obvious issues before I get too far in here and break something so as I said that, I just realized that this yellow wire here, not sure if you guys are seeing it, but this had already come off. I don't know where it was exactly, but I'm going to assume it was right there, since all the other wires are soldered to those pads. So maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe this was loose and just kind of floating around in there. I don't know. So what we're looking at here, hopefully it's visible enough to you guys, is where the wires that go off to the Wii remote come into the circuit board on the nunchuck. You can see there's a red one soldered here. This is where that yellow one should have been soldered, the one that popped off on me. And there's the wire there hiding. This white one looks like it's soldered okay here, but then you can see this black and green one are kind of soldered together over here on the end. Now I really think this black one ought to be here, and there shouldn't be a solder bridge here. I'm not sure how visible it is in the camera. Maybe there you can see but there's copper that goes down into this pad and then separate copper over here which is presumably uh, well maybe VCC going by this label here or plus voltage tied over here so I don't think these should be shorted together so let's separate them put the black wire here we'll reattach the yellow wire and then see if everything works so I've taken a look at this both in the monitor here and with a standard eye loop and everything else looks like it's actually soldered okay although it might have been done by hand I'm not sure just the look of it doesn't have that clean machine look anyway there's basically just a QFN here a zero ohm resistor here there's a bypass capacitor up here a few other parts underneath the black plastic shroud here and then of course the switches that are up front here everything else like I said looks like it's soldered okay or at least connected for now so like I said, let's redo these wires and see where we end up. So let's take a look at these wires here. Now the interesting thing that I noticed, and I don't know how well the camera is going to focus or show this, but 
You may be able to see on the back of the circuit board there, there's holes <laughs> in the circuit board for the wires. Now, and I'm not sure why they wouldn't solder these through the holes as opposed to soldering them surface mount style, but that's the way they did it. It must be quicker. They must have some sort of jig or fixture made up for that, but either way, let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. So I think I am going to try and use the holes in this circuit board, so I'm going to wick out some of this old solder. I just want to be careful I don't hit that QFN there, because I don't think I'd be able to get that soldered back on. Okay, I don't know how well you can see it in the camera there, but I've wicked off the solder from the first two holes. And I've got the red wire coming up from the bottom and through the top, it's bent over. So now I'll just solder that in place, do the same with the yellow wire, and then I'll move on to the rest of them. Just kind of do them one at a time just so I don't lose track of which one goes where. I don't know if it's going to be visible there, if the camera's going to focus that closely or not, but I got the black and green wires off, and you can kind of see that the pattern between them is set up so that they should be shorted together, I guess. At least I tried to get the solder bridge out between those two pads, and I can't because I think there's copper there. But So either way, I'm just going to solder them back together the way they were and hope that the problem was being caused by that loose yellow wire. All right, so not sure if the camera's really focused on that or not, but you can see I've got it all soldered back up. Now, that's probably not going to meet IPC standards, but it's a hell of a lot better than what China did. So let's put this back together and see if that will correct the problem. All right, so we've got everything back together here. Feels like it's put together the right way. All the toggles and buttons seem to be functional. Let's head upstairs and try it on the Wii. So we're up at the TV. You can see I've got the Wii going and I've got the game up. You can see the two characters there. They're both standing still, and that's a good thing because I have the new or the repaired black nunchuck hooked up. So as I move the toggle, he goes in the direction that I tell him to go and there's no hesitation or lag or going the wrong direction or any of that. And when I let go of the toggle and stop him walking, he stops walking and stays still. So that's going to take care of the repair of the cheap Chinese Wii Nunchuck knockoff. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. Thanks for watching.